All right, let's move on to seven. Client is worried about the noise from the HVAC system. Uh, which of the following would be would you possibly suggest? Uh, check four that apply. We have dampers, duct lining, chiller, absorption cooling tower, base isolators, radiant floor, cool beam. Uh, so this is a pretty simple, straightforward concept. Um, if you don't know some of the terms, it might be a little difficult. Um, the ones that jump out at me as uh, not being relevant uh, would be the cooling tower and chiller. There are reasons why you could, you could claim chiller would help with noise. The fact that you put the chiller into the basement or something like that, you kind of remove it away, but it's just not the likely kind of answer in this scenario. Um, uh, so uh, the possible sort of most reasonable answers, um, a duct lining is going to be by far, by far uh, the biggest uh, possible answer. The second one would be base isolators. So a duct lining, let's talk about those two for a second. Um, duct lining uh, would be uh, essentially insulation that goes onto the inside of a duct. Um, you can also do insulation onto the outside of a duct, and that will have a certain kind of impact. It'll um, insulate, obviously, the air, but it also will reduce some of the sound that, that generates back and forth. Um, but the big thing that the duct lining on the inside is it's going to reduce the sound um, that's going to reverberate through the metal ducts. So the duct lining will make a big, big impact uh, on the sound that the air is making going through that as a system. Um, uh, the base isolators, anytime I have something with, say, fans or compressors or anything like that, I've got that fan blowing along, right? This whole thing is kind of shaking uh, as that fan kicks on and kicks off. Um, and if I have that sitting directly on a floor, then that shaking uh, is going to go right through that floor structure, and it's going to end up it, to us as sound. If I have it directly attached to a steel structure, say up at the ceiling, uh, the same thing would be true. It's gonna, it's gonna send that vibration through that steel structure anywhere in the building and it will come out as sound waves. Uh, so the idea of a base isolator is that instead of having that thing directly attached to something, I am sitting it on little spring devices so this thing can shake all at once uh, but it's not going to reverberate through the floor, at least not too much. Um, the other way to do that is uh, often you'll see like you know big ductwork elements that are attached to air handling units. So the the fans are shaking the ductwork, and so these things are hung uh, with wires, uh, and so the wires make it very difficult for the uh, duct to send that uh, that vibration up to the structure. But even with that, they will sometimes put in little springs. Uh, on there so that uh, even more so it can't send that uh, vibration through. So base isolators are, are uh, kind of very important for this as a process. Uh, then a radiant floor is going to be very, very quiet. A cool beam is also a radiant system. That's going to be a very quiet way of doing heating. Um, it's not a particularly likely possible answer uh, in uh, everyday life um, uh, in, in terms of um, uh, you know, cool beams are fairly specific. Uh, they, they only really get used in reasonably high-end uh, elements. But if, the, if somebody was very concerned, they're very worried about uh, the noise, well, a radiant system would certainly make uh, a big difference. Uh, it's going to be much, much quieter as a system. Uh, and then the fourth one would be uh, dampers. I actually think dampers is kind of a, the least uh, possible answer. Um, but the dampers would allow you to uh, if there's a noise problem, to be able to slow down the air and uh, cr create zones that didn't get as much air, uh, so you would be able to uh, hold on to those, uh, separate out the places that got a lot of air and the places that only got a little bit of air, and, and those would be quiet. Looks like we, um, in this PDF here, there was a, uh, uh, an additional option, which was option G, and that option was remote location rooftop unit. Yeah, that's a much better answer. I thought there was a better answer. Um, there's a remote location. That's a much better answer. Uh, I, I put it up on the uh, rooftop. Dampers um, is a reasonable answer, but uh, remote location would be a better answer.
So, and often you'll find there are, there are uh, say, I, I would put dampers kind of similar to chiller. Um, they're good possible answers, um, but they're not the best answers, right? And that's one of the things the exam does all the time. Mm -hmm.